There's only one question for episode three of A Slice of Chifley. Is it a pizza or isn't it? And to find the answers, we've come here to Maggie's, Mount Druitt. We're gonna to talk to the owners, sample this secret dish, find out some more. Let's go check it out. Shafiq, I've got to tell you, mm -hmm. when we ask people the places to go, the number of people that said, go to Maggie's, incredible. Even the guys who are making this told mm -hmm. me to go and to come here to try this pizza. Tell me, secret of your success, what is it? There is no secret. Yeah? Do the right thing. Very simple formula. Do the right thing by everyone. And it's a fresh food. Mm. And we welcome everyone. I leave my wife always at the front. She has a nicer face than mine. <laughs> <laughs> She always smiling, any time of the day she's smiling. People love that for that. I can be moody sometimes, but it's, uh, when it comes to quality of the food, uh, I, don't, I don't make around. It has to be right. And, and I've got to ask you, you, so you came to this part, how long have you been in this part of Mount Druid for? 18 years. 18 years. It Tell was me why. hard. It was hard at the beginning. Uh, a lot of people bet on us that we'll stay for about three months, then we'll leave. Mm. And here we are. Nice. We've been here for 18 years. Survived. Yeah, I came young. Was black hair, I end up to be grey hair and still here. Yeah. <laughs> I started with, with darker hair when yeah. this series began and now I'm all grey. <laughs> so it's really tense doing this stuff. This is a zata. That's a popular breakfast for the Lebanese. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And this uh, one? This is zata as well, but in, in a different way. We add tomato, olives and, and cheese. This is with yogurt. Nice. See this? Usually that food that it was for the poor people. Mm. This is, we go to the luxury, it's totally different. We invented ourselves, we call it Mona. Whoa, after. this is an original. Yeah, it's after my sister name. Yeah. And it's the name is Mona. It's very simple, yeah. very simple pizza. Uh, we do the sauces ourselves. Was she happy about having a pizza named after her? Well, she's the one she did, you know, she did invent it. So she should be happy. Yeah, yeah of course. Well, I'd love to have a pizza named after me. <laughs> after what everyone's saying, you know, we want one, I want one. It's good to be, called, <laughs> to be popular. Okay, I'm going to try. I'm going for the biggest piece. This other one was too small. Remember, slice it cheaply. Mm. Oh. Supporting small business, one bite at a time. This is magnificent. Thank you Thank so much. You. Thank you. Besides these fantastic pizzas, there's a special treat. This, and here's the secret ingredient. This one is Shafiq. That's a Nutella pizza. We make it folded so it stays moist. It won't go dry and you, you'll have the best out of it. Oh, I know now why you all said go to Maggie's. I've been, I'm a believer, it's fantastic. But we have a special treat. Because in this part of Mount Druitt, there've been a lot of new places that have opened up. I'm gonna go see this guy who is an absolute legend as well. We're gonna check out a place. You won't believe it, it's fantastic. We're here, Mate Burger, Mount Druitt. Hi Ed, how are you going? Henry, Good my man, you. how are you doing? Not too bad, thanks. What's that? Secret sanitizer. Okay. Stay clean, people. I told you we were going somewhere special. I'm here with this guy. He's, this is another wizard, the Philo wizard, Henry, here at Mate Burger. And I have a special connection to Henry because Henry was the first person to ever, ever introduce me to this magic, Biscoff. I just want to thank you, Henry, because I've put on at least five kilo because of You're you. You're welcome, man. <laughs> <laughs> Before we get into it, yeah. what do you use the Biscoff for? We use that for our dessert, which is the uh, Halo Halo, which is a Filipino dessert. Yeah. Philos love it. And also, I've got to say hi to the Philo ballers out of Kevin Bet Stadium. You guys are legends, run and gunners from way back. Um, Henry, you've been uh, uh, here, how long at Mate Burger has, have you been in this physical location? We've been here for about 18 months now, mm -hmm. uh, 2018 in November. Yeah. Yeah. And how's it been going? Uh, it's going great at the moment. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's yeah. Going good. Because you, I remember coming here early on and there were lines straight out the door on the weekends. The weekends are your busiest, right? Yes, usually Friday, Saturday and Saturday, Sunday morning yeah. are quite busy for us, uh, which is good for um, the community, um, serving the Filipino food and yeah. American Filipino style burgers. Yeah, 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 yeah. Fantastic. <laughs> it's all good, it's all good. Um, I've got to ask you, how have you been finding it over the last few months? What's been the secret to basically 
surviving the pandemic for, from a business point of view? Yeah, fortunately we've been uh, pretty lucky because uh, we've been getting a lot of support from the community. Uh, we do a lot of uh, marketing through our social media, uh, Instagram, Facebook, and of course you have to um, you know, obey whatever the government's um, initi initiative is, such as you, know, uh, you gotta follow the social distancing, um, you, know, you get your um, uh, spacing for uh, dining in. Uh, we do a lot of um, Uber Eats, menu log uh, okay. deliveries, and also uh, we do our own delivery as well. Nice. So that helps us uh, maintain our, um, our brand yeah. um, through marketing, through social media. Yeah. And social media makes a real difference for small oh, business. Yes. Yeah. Yes. yeah, huge. Um, and the other thing I just wanted to give um, you a shout out for, Mate Burger did an incredible thing of making sure that particularly people that were in difficult situations, especially international students living around here, hard, hard to get support, tell, tell everyone what was the type of stuff that Mate Burger was doing to support international students. We'll throw up a few pics as well. Yeah, there's a lot of um, students that's been impacted, uh, mainly all the uh, international students coming from overseas coming to Australia to study. Uh, most of them work in the um, hospitality industry, uh, but you know, since the shutdown of all the, um, or some of the um, you know, premises, restaurant, uh, they lost their jobs. So mm -hmm. uh, my bid is to uh, try to help them out by providing uh, a meal for them. Mm -hmm. uh, even a single meal um, for the student, it will make a big difference for them. Uh, we did it for um, four weeks uh, throughout the uh, um, month of May. Yeah, good on you. Bloody legends. Mount Druitt, massive heart, and businesses like this, that are helping the community and people in need. That's what we're trying to do with this, with these series of, of different episodes, showing small businesses between Mount Druitt and Blacktown. Mate Burger, true mates, love your work. Let's try some of the great food here. And this is, Henry, you're gonna to have to explain which burger this is. Yes, that's our FFC, Filipino fried chicken. Southern fried chicken, Filipino style with lettuce, uh, shredded apples, uh, chili jam, cheese, and brioche bun. I think you're gonna see a grown man cry. This is gonna get very emotional. Okay, let me try this. Mmm. The crunch. <laughs> Again, supporting businesses one bite at a time. Slice it cheaply. Whew, Filipino fried chicken, sensational. Okay, so if you're a supporter of your local small business, a lot of you are, Please remember, there are things that you can do that make a difference. As you heard Henry before, social media is huge for small businesses. Follow them on Facebook, follow them on Instagram, and if you really like what they're doing, give them a great review on Google. Thanks for your time today. Go Bulls, go Three Stripe. See you next week.